Hey, Joe, thank you for joining us this morning. We're going to get started about a minute early. Um, so it's just you right now. So if you want to kick us off, go ahead. All right. I apologize to you two for having to only deal with me. That seems like uh, torture. But I uh, hope you guys have had a nice couple weeks. Uh, Lauren, I'm curious, uh, how do you approach this new tournament uh, with you know, is are there expectations? I know you're going against the Gotham team that's maybe a little short-handed, but uh, it seems like an exciting opportunity for the club. Yeah, Joe. I mean, it's a it's a it's a it's a tournament where um, you know you want you compete to win first and foremost. You know, you got to try to give it your best, but you all, you also want to look at players and give players some more playing time. That's you know, and it's not just one game; the entire. Mm -hmm. The entire tournament, you know, we, we we spread it out among players and get some players in there who haven't been playing as much, and you know, you know, hopefully, you know, we can see some stuff that we don't know about them. They can show us, show it to us. So, but on the other hand, you're also trying to compete and win. So yeah, so it's a little bit of it's, you know, it's a it's a double-edged sword. So we have to manage it that way. And Lauren, I'm curious, you mentioned, I remember when we were talking about Taylor Mollum earlier in the year, you mentioned players that maybe you hadn't been as familiar with before you got here. Uh, what is the message to those players that need to prove something in order to make sure that they're getting more minutes in the second half of the season? Well, again, you know, when, when players get their numbers called, I mean, it comes down to one thing, just performance. I mean, that's the only way you can judge it, you know, so... Performance, they have to go out there and perform, and um, you know, uh, certain things. Uh, they are going to make mistakes. I make mistakes. They make mistakes. Coaches do, but it's going to just come down to performance. That's, I mean, that's the, that's the bottom line. All right, and Ali, just curious. Halfway through uh, your rookie season, you've been getting uh, consistent minutes a lot at the back end of games. I'm curious. Uh, what have you learned the most in your rookie season? Um, that's a good question. I think. It's one, just kind of being prepared for when you're called. Um, you don't know when it is, what the situation of the game is going to be. Um, no situation has guessed been the, dip, the no situation has been the same. Um, so just taking what the game gives you and guess doing your best with it. And I know I asked you this a, a slightly different version of this a little earlier in the year, but I'm curious, uh, are you able to enjoy those moments more on the pitch now that you've experienced it and it's more focused on, let me make sure I'm making that positive impact. Maybe the rookie jitters are kind of expiring a little bit. Yeah, I would say so. Like the more experience I've gotten with it, it's I've been here before, I kind of know what it feels like. Um, and just like getting that experience has made it a little bit easier um, going into like maybe like high stress moments. Understood. And lastly, of course, the most important question, uh, how did your teammates celebrate your birthday with you yesterday? <laughs> um, we went to the lake and hung out for a bit and then got sushi for dinner. So it was a good day. Oh, that sounds truly lovely. Uh, good luck tomorrow, y'all, and appreciate the time as always. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. <clears throat> uh, Leslie, you can go ahead. Sorry, we started like a couple of seconds before you joined. Good job. <laughs> so, you know, sorry, sorry, I'm late. Uh, you know, usually I'm, I'm on top of this. Uh, just uh, wanted to ask first: that How do you refocus the team coming back from this uh, week long break? Yeah, I mean, it's. I mean, we're professional, and um, you know, we get back, and um, you know, everybody knows they got to maintain some kind of level of fitness, and you know, to come back. And I don't think it's hard to refocus. I mean, we know we have a job to do, oh. and. You Professionally, as professionals, you know, I think we're a team like that that we just come right back, jump right back into the fire, and just keep going. And I mean, speaking of, of jumping back into the fire, you're you're going up against a, a Gotham team that's gonna look pretty different from the last time you you faced off against them. Uh, I mean, does that change your plans going uh, going into training? Not really, because I mean, obviously, I mean, most coaches will stylistically play the way they play, and they. If they brought a couple of players in, they're going to try to get players that fit their stylistically how they play. So, you know, I kind of expect them to play very similar or, you know, the way they play is just different personnel. But, I mean, they're a loaded team. They got players all over. So, I mean, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't feel, you know, like they're going to come in here and lay down. That's not going to happen. That's why they're the defending champ. You know, they have good players from top to bottom and, you know, you know they have great coaches. So, we have to be ready to play. 
And uh, for for Ali, uh, I mean, everyone has spoken about there being this like next player up uh, philosophy on the team. Um, I mean, how do you uh, balance having just kind of learning that being being the way things are on this team and and just trying to fit in as a rookie? Yeah, um, it's definitely an adjustment going from college of like obviously just different game like playing time, subbing rules, everything is so different. And then here it's like, well, when you it's like chances are a little bit more limited. Um, so it's just kind of like mentally getting yourself there. I feel like physically we're always ready for that. Um, but I think it's more of like the mental challenge at this level. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Leslie. Jim, go ahead. Hey, guys. Um, does the league sort of cup, uh, this competition offer a different opportunity um, than it would be in a regular season? Do you treat it differently? Do you kind of approach it as this uh, opportunity for younger players to maybe step up that they wouldn't get chances in uh, in, in the regular sort of uh, season? How do you view this sort of time of season right now? Yeah, it's a little bit of both, you know, with players missing from, you know, a lot of teams, you know, you, you look at it and it gives give some players a chance to get in there and play and give you also a chance to, to, to play some player that are not regularly playing and um, but you also want to compete and you want to win so it's a it's a little bit about it's as I say it's a double-edged double-edged sword and we are sort that we got to be ready for it so you know it's not lay down and you know you know whatever it is but it's it's a time to compete and give some other players a chance to compete Allie, do you feel like this is an opportunity for you to sort of uh, to take the bull by its horn too for, for potentially the rest of the season? Um, not what we're, we're going to get uh, in the next few weeks? Yeah, I mean, if we have people missing, obviously. Um, it's a good opportunity and um, kind of showcase what I have to offer and hopefully can like lead into more playing or more minutes um, after the break. Awesome. All right. Thanks, guys. Well, cool. thanks, Jim. Uh, we'll call it there. Thanks, everybody, for joining, and I'll have a recording uh, uh, shortly. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.